Recognize. Thank you, Madam Speaker. At this time, I yield two minutes to the gentleman from Pennsylvania, Mr. Fitzpatrick. The gentleman from Pennsylvania is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, Madam Speaker, I stand here today uh, as a former FBI agent who worked in New York City side by side with these very people we are seeking to protect today. And we're here united with our colleagues from both sides of the aisle to renew the 9 11 Victims Compensation Fund. Madam Speaker, as was said repeatedly on this floor, this matter is urgent and cannot wait any longer. On that fateful day, nearly 18 years ago, American heroes rushed to save their fellow citizens without regard for their own safety. And they paid a heavy price, with many today suffering from respiratory illnesses, from breathing in toxic dust at ground zero, dust that contained lead, asbestos, mercury, and many other contaminants. Just last month, our nation mourned the loss of Detective Luis Alvarez, who inspired us all with his visit to Capitol Hill this year. His bravery of, and the bravery of all the people who sacrificed must be honored appropriately. And in his memory, and to honor all the brave men and women who saved lives that day, we must get this done. Madam Speaker, as the Vice Chair of the Bipartisan Problem Solvers Caucus, 24 Democrats, 24 Republicans, we have endorsed this bill. We worked very hard to get over the 290 co-sponsor threshold to get this on the consensus calendar. It currently stands at 332 co-sponsors. Uh, I want to thank John Stewart for elevating the, the profile of this bill. Uh, it was incredibly important for its, uh, its success. And I urge all my colleagues, Democrat and Republican alike, come together and support our nation's heroes. Never forget must mean never forget. These are people that did the opposite of what we are all born with as far as our instincts go. Every single one of us, based on our genetic DNA, our instincts are to run away from danger. These are men and women that do the opposite. They run towards a danger, at great physical sacrifice, at great psychological and emotional sacrifice, all in the name of serving a cause bigger than themselves. I urge my colleagues to support this and make this unanimous. Gentleman from Georgia reserves Reserve. the balance of his time. The gentleman from New York is recognized. 